Megan. Her and I are at an internet cafe. It seems to be a pretty appropriate spot for us to meet. Um, Megan is a local girl, um, but she has had a video of her go viral over the internet. And oftentimes this happens because someone posts a YouTube video that they think is funny or a photo of themselves, but you did not have a part in no, posting the photo or it going viral. So we want to show you guys. I think that that's probably the best way to get the point across. This is Megan. And this is her very beautiful booking photo, right? Um, and someone else happened to find her photo beautiful. So they took it and then created a bunch of internet memes. You know, can I have her cell number? A play on words. Very yeah. clever one. This might be, I think, the most creative one. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we have a bunch of these. And so, Megan, what? how did you find out about this meme? Um, well, I knew it was going to be out there because I was out with friends one night and then got pulled over and got arrested for reckless driving. Mm -hmm. So, obviously, you know, it's public record. I knew there was going to be a photo and, um, like, friends had seen it. And the only people that I told about, you know, was nothing I was proud of. I was ashamed of it, you know? And then just a few days ago, Facebook friends, like, do you remember where your picture is all over the Internet? And people are talking about it. It's on, like on a couple different like uh, internet sites and I didn't know. Right. I had no idea it was like that at all. Right. And um, I think, you know, we were talking before and you mentioned that people in Norway, Norway and Australia. Australia, like it's on their like front page news and I'm like, what? that's crazy, you know, over just a photo. Exactly. And it's, you know, like we said, a photo that she didn't necessarily have control of going on the internet. And another thing you mentioned, this was a reckless driving charge. Yeah. And it was also you know, a while ago. But it was like two or three years ago. Right. And so booking photos, they kind of lead people to believe that you spent a lot of time in jail. Yeah, and it was eight hours in and out. Right. It was terrible. I would never want right. to go through that again. Exactly. So yeah. has this affected you now that some people kind of assume you've done this hard time or that, you know, you had some crazy charge? Yeah, I mean, and uh, been, there's been positive things said and negative, of course. People are always going to have something to say about it, but, you know, now it's just, it was flattering at first. You know, people thought it was pretty, you know, because I think it's awful, but um, I have kids and people now know where I live and are talking about, you know, coming to my house or taking plane tickets to Florida, the upper hills. They know exactly my address because it's a public record. Right. It's really scary. Right. So while it seems that this might be something funny and, you know, it is lighthearted, it's also having a serious impact. So when you see some of these memes with these different sayings, you guys should actually consider the fact that it yeah. is a real person. It's a real photo. Yeah. So, you know, we've kind of cleared up that this is not a serious charge, you know, that you didn't do hard time and that you're just a local person. You didn't have control in this getting out there.